My name is Morrison and I'm in my last year of high school, but I'm 16 and I live in Kathmandu. And I'd come from a school in DC where there was a very large arts program. I wanted to create something where it would allow me to be a part of a program similar to what I had in DC. I started off just working with my school. Um, over time, I kind of shifted it towards working with SMD because I really enjoy the students there. I felt like the story applied a lot more to them. It's called Once on this Island, and it's the Broadway version by Stephen Flat Cody and Glenn Aarons. We started with a couple of meetings where we came to talk to some of the students about what we wanted to do to gauge their interest. And then we went straight in with rehearsals. We sort of picked out the students that we thought would best understand, best fit the story, and then also had the skills to be able to portray the story on stage. We spent a lot of time explaining the story to the students when we read through the scripts. We started off not really knowing anything about what we were doing because I've never uh, directed a show before. We taught the students almost entirely just through me singing and them repeating things because they don't read sheet music. At some point we realized we were going to need more funding for what we were doing, which is why we started the GoFundMe page. Now we've reached our goal. So sing your part before you jump down. There's kind of 20 main cast members and most of them span from 7th grade to 10th grade. The main character, Bishal, who plays Daniel, is 18 and I think he's in um, ninth grade. Some of the younger ones are in seventh grade, I think. My name is Ashok Tama. I'm grade 10. I play the role of Tonton, God's father, and Ogwe is a god of water. The fun part was when we practiced with piano, the music was so good. It is an opportunity that we can build our confidence. Uh, it is important for all students. I originally wanted to also organize the stage crew myself, but I didn't have time to do that after I started the directing and the voice training and dance instructions. So I turned that over to my mom. There's roles like lighting people and costumes people. There's girls who are gonna help us with hair and makeup. There's a lot of people that have worked on the set and obtaining props. Honestly, I feel like any difficulties after that were made a lot easier by the fact that the students are so adaptable. I feel like they have to be adaptable um, based on their living circumstances and their life circumstances. Every time something goes wrong or every time things don't work out the way that they were planning, they just change and shift incredibly quickly and it works out. Getting everyone together in the same place at one time is difficult because the students don't have phones or any means of communication. So it's just by word of mouth like, hey, come to do this rehearsal at this time. And if your communication isn't perfect, then they don't show up. There's also been stuff with uh, connecting the music because since they learned everything without a piano, they don't rely on the piano at all, which is both good and bad because it means there's less pressure on the pianist to make sure the tempo is correct, but it also means that they don't listen to the piano, so they don't pause when they're supposed to and things like that, and that's been hard to work out. I like being the person that gets to bring out qualities that students didn't know they had. Like some of the kids at the school don't get to shine in other areas and it's really nice to be able to uh, bring out sides of them that no one has ever seen before and really let them share that part of themselves with other people. But I don't like being the person that has to push everyone all the time. It's really difficult to be the person who has to be blunt with people when they're not doing the right thing. It really hurts when someone says, you need to figure this out, you haven't got it done. And I have to be that person, I don't like doing that. Okay, we're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, like, come back. Because that's just your speaking part, so do a little bit of the singing part, yeah? Uh, my name is Yang Chen, and I'm working as the librarian of the school. I'm giving a year of service. And I've been uh, here from 2008, and uh, <clears throat> So the school has been kind of like home to me. There is a lot of responsibilities in here individually and as a team. What I learned is that I learned uh, 
how to deliver my dialogues and kind of like how to get into the shoe of that character that I'm given. Uh, when you do uh, a new thing, then you would know that when you participate in it, then you would know that, oh, actually, I've got an interest in it. The prison girl wants a grand home to carry her away. <laughs> I show furniture, I cover with bankers. My name is Pema, uh, Pema Digilama. Uh, currently, I'm working as a uh, uh, director assistant in school. Uh, uh, I'm taking gap year after a curtain. So, uh, and I'm in this uh, performance, I'm playing a role of uh, Asaka. So, fun part is like why we do together in a teamwork. It's very fun so, because everyone has a role and. When it comments together, it like it makes a very huge impact. But since as a core director and I'm a point person of this show, I learn a lot through the, all the process. Yeah. My name is Fulkiti Sherpa, and I am from Solukumbu. In this play, I role, uh, the role I play the role of Papagi, uh, who is the goddess of death. At the beginning, like I didn't know like um, I could do it or not because I had never uh, been like in this show. And now I'm enjoying a lot in this play. Since uh, I have been uh, growing up, I had always a dream like uh, to, be, uh, to be acting in a theater. From that sense, it makes me so happy that I could at least to take part in this kind of play. There are a lot of fun part in doing that. Like while doing the show, we make, you know, it's normal, but we make fun of each other and like we enjoy it because uh, while doing a serious thing, there are funny things as well going on. Thank you so much for uh, supporting us uh, and helping us because, uh, because it's needed for us uh, in this community in Nepal because if you have a lot of activities like this, a lot of uh, opportunities like this, then our kids can grow, you know, uh, can develop themselves and can be an important uh, part in make, shaping the country. So I think we have 120 seats available. One third of the people coming are going to be people that we've invited from the American Embassy and the school that I go to here. So the kids of the school board and their parents live in the mountains here. Some of them are back down um, in the valley for the winter. So they'll actually be able to come see their kids perform. I don't think we're gonna make it to the 120 seats that we have, but I still think a lot of people are gonna show up. And maybe I'll be surprised, maybe it'll be packed and we'll have to put people on the floor, you know? <laughs>